And this one's actually going to be a little bit more fun because I know optical is in this uh, consideration right now. And I'll remove that banner from my head in a second once I get this Gandalf up on screen. So let's talk about this. This is the Asmus Gandalf the White versus Inart Gandalf the Gray. Again, not exactly the same Gandalf, but these are the decisions that people are going to have to make, right? So optical, I want to ask you, with the Asmus version, which I know you're considering, it's $380. You get the Shadow Fax horse. You get Gandalf the White, which I think is, some people have said it's really good. I know Zach, Oxfather, Collecting Weekly, shout out to Collecting Weekly. You know, great guys over there. He's a big horse fan. He's also a big Gandalf super fan. And he loves that figure. So optical. $515 for Gandalf the Gray from Inart. Of course, you get the magnetic base, the multiple staffs, the sword, whatever. Or Gandalf the White from Asmus for $380 with a horse. Which side are you taking? I've been looking at that Gandalf the White for 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 a while now. I was like, all right, I really don't need two Gandalfs because I have the old Gandalf the Grey from the Crown series. I got it for really cheap, but this one looks really good. Gandalf the White from it does just doesn't have the purse like in art does, but at three eighty you also get Shadow Facts. So I was just like, I'm looking at it, and, and the head sculpt is it's it's not. I wouldn't even say it's not bad. It's I wouldn't say it's comparable to in art. But it's there. It's there. Like I've seen enough reviews to say that's hey man, it's 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 not hot toys. It's better than hot toys. I it's very rare that you can say that for for Asmus. I'll be like, all right, everything's rooted as well. But since I have Gandalf the Great, you know, it's not again not comparable to in art, but you can't beat the price of 380 with a horse. I mean, if if I'm considering that, that if you're gonna give it to me, I, I again I'll choose in art. But we always talk about the price, right? Because we you are spending it, and it's the same character. I probably go with in with with Asmus just because of the value. I feel like you're getting, you know, like you, you get the horse. <laughs> the horse itself is probably like how much the horse that you buy, like one. Mine was right? like 180, 190, yeah. So if you if you take out, let's say this is one fifty, meaning Gandalf is two thirty. And you can't buy Gandalf by himself. I mean, if you could for two thirty, that is a steal, with rooted hair and rooted beard. But value wise, I, I would concede Gandalf the Gray is a better figure, but I think Gandalf the White is a better value. So I would go with a better value in this one, which is Gandalf mm. the White. Yeah, that's understandable. Well, Kiko. What do you think? Gandalf the Grey versus Gandalf the White here. And of course, we have the Asmus one and we have the, uh, you know, the Inart one. So, you know, these are two very different figures, but very different prices as well. So what do you think, Kiko, about these two? And I'll pull them back up on screen. It closed out for some reason, but I'm back. There we go. Okay. As the resident horse person here, Will, and that's one thing I'm disappointed in. I wasn't able to take you to see our horses. So I am sad mm -hmm. about that since we are house horse here. That was but disappointing. Optical said it. The value you get for a damn horse, not a bad idea. And from what I've seen, the in hand photos of this when compared to, you know, the other, you know, get off the gray, it's night and day with with the with the white version. It, it's very impressive for that price point. And I don't know if you here's the thing. This, this is gonna rub some people the wrong way. As much silly stuff I say about, you know, my an art joker not shipping or anything like that. I would argue that because of the character and the gravitas that the Joker carries, I can make sense of that price. I don't know if I can make 515 make sense to me for just the Gandalf the Grey. When there are some other options available out there, does it look incredible? Yes. But for 515 and you know, just like a little shyer thing that you get, and I don't know if the value is there. Yes, I understand it's remarkable, blah, blah, blah. We'll, we'll see what happens when it's in hand. Sure. Um, but yeah, you, you can't go wrong with, with the horse and a full figure. And you're just talking about like characters themselves. I mean, these are two separate characters at this point. This is, this is the definitive version of Gandalf, you know, at, at the end there. So I guess it comes down to which figure you like more to me. That's like saying, Hey, do you like farm boy Luke? Or do you like Jedi Luke? You know, that that's depends kind of, you know, which character you like more. Right. That's understandable for me. I'm taking the in art. I'm taking the in art just because, again, I'm, I'm trying to curate and go for the highest quality 
possible that I can. And Optical, you and Kiko both raised really good points. To me, I don't really care as much about Shadow Facts. I, I'm not as concerned about that uh, with the horse. But it is great to have a horse. But I've seen the Asmus not in person, but I've seen lots of photos. And I think it's solid, but I don't know that it's on Inart's level as far as quality is concerned. But I don't have it in hand. Uh, you know, Maybe I can defer to people who do have it in hand. But as far as photos go, I feel Inart's got this. And, you know, hey, look, I love Gandalf the White even more than Gandalf the Gray. But... When I talked to Optical about this, maybe it was about six months or more ago. When I watched Fellowship again, I was like, this film's a masterpiece. Fellowship is incredible. And this is the Gandalf that fought the Balrog. So ain't nothing wrong with that.